Okay guys, today we have another ammo performance review. Today it is Hornady Superformance Match 556 five, NATO 75 grain boat tail hollow point. This uh, ammunition is a, as you can tell, it's a Superformance Match ammunition from Hornady. They have a Superformance line of bullets. I think those are for more of hunting purposes. They also have a Match line of bullets, which obviously is for high accuracy match performance but a super performance match I guess it's supposed to be just extremely fast and extremely accurate and according to the box out of their test barrel it will push the 75 grain projectile to 29 20 feet per second I like that it's got a little note right there not for use in a 223 chamber so for once uh, Putting a 5.56 five, and a 2.23 may not be advisable. But, just for argument's sake, this is the only time I've ever seen that note before. So, uh, do whatever you want to do. Just note that this is the only time I've ever actually seen it. So, Hornady Superformance Match, 5.56, five, 75 grain. Uh, heavy projectile being pushed very quickly for very accurate purposes. So let's see how it actually did out of the test bed rifle. We had, I got a three MOA group. What I thought was interesting about this group is it was actually like two separate groups that I happened to be shooting at like consecutively. I shot a five round string because that's how I shoot all my groups. Uh, what is it they say? A three-shot group is a coincidence. Five shots is a group. So anyway, I have like a really nice, probably one MOA group right there, but unfortunately it wasn't a three-shot group. It was a five-shot group, and then those two guys opened it up to about three MOA. Granted, those two are pretty close together. Those three are pretty close together, but taken in their entirety, how they actually performed, not that great. This is the worst group of the test, three and a quarter MOA. This one just didn't ha it just didn't come out very good. As you can see, there's pretty good spreading. Uh, there's nothing really in the center of this group. It's not like we had one flyer. It's not like I had just a little bit of vertical or a little bit of horizontal stringing. This is just open. There's just not a lot of good happening right here, unfortunately. I would really expect better out of match ammunition from Hornady of all people. The amount of money you pay for this ammo to group like that, no, nah, that's just not acceptable. This one's getting a little better. Two and a half MOA. Uh, as you can see, there's four holes here instead of five. I have no idea where the fifth bullet went. I really don't. I have no clue. Maybe one of these, maybe that guy right there is actually a double, I don't know, but two and a half MOA on a four shot group. Now I'm not, like I said, I don't like to shoot uh, three or four round groups, I like to shoot five round groups, but when I've got a 20 round box of ammo and I'm trying to shoot four groups, sometimes you just lose a round. I would love to go back to the store and buy two or three more boxes so I can shoot a whole bunch of groups so I can get a much better average, but unfortunately that's just not the case. So this one, two and a half MOA group. What would this group be if there was a full five rounds? I have no idea. And honestly, I would like to find out. But I don't have the time and I don't have the money to do so. So moving on to the last group, two and a quarter MOA. This, this group is interesting because the spread of the bottom four rounds from left to right is like two in, well, yeah, it's about two and a quarter inches. The spread from the bottom left round to the top round, I, I guess not really a flyer, is also two and a quarter inches. So either way, it's a two and a quarter MOA group. I would have really loved to see this group be a little more consistent, like if that round up there at the top was somewhere down here in the middle. It wouldn't have made the group size smaller, but it would have had it stringing in only one axis, which would have made for a more, well, it would have made the 
the test different. You would have had vertical stringing. There's different reasons you could have that. But the fact that it's strung.